Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to downtown Las Vegas and today's first portion of the ride on uh, what the hell is this? I just had a brain fart. I don't remember what I'm riding right now. Oh yeah, this is the Unagi Model 1 Voyager. And it sure is not bad. I don't know if I'd go as far as to call it good necessarily, but I am certainly having a lot of fun with it. It's pretty quick and, uh, you know, super light, small. But it's super clunky and unsmooth, but it is dual motor. It is a lot of fun. I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting one though we'll talk more about that in another video but for right now i'm doing one of my favorite things to do on an electric scooter and that's go get uh tacos and a milkshake in the farts district and that's what we're about to go do right now first let's ride down the middle of the fremont street like maniacs because why not it's a nice day. Let's run right on the wrong side of the street. How about that? Nah, let's get on the sidewalk. Anyway, yeah, I live downtown now, if you didn't catch the last video. On Fremont Street, actually. We need to go down Las Vegas Boulevard a ways. I almost got hit in the face with a bird. That would have been uh, probably quite entertaining for you guys. So yeah, we gotta take uh, Las Vegas Boulevard down to the Farts District. We don't have to go this way. And it's like the fun way though, you know? I was just here a few minutes ago going to that post office to drop off uh, the uh, orders from today, my online sales. Uh oh, lights turning. Here we go. All right. So where does one go in the Farts District to get? Uh, tacos and a milkshake well uh, you're about to find out but in the meantime I hope you enjoy this ride on the Unagi Model 1 Voyager through downtown Las Vegas so we're gonna do something really special in the next portion of this video we're actually gonna do my most favorite thing to do on, uh, on an electric scooter Uh, I don't know if I should show you guys what that is or tell you because uh, I know I'm not really supposed to be doing it but I sort of guess I get away with it I guess you could say um, by just you know being respectful and just doing it in moderation so you're not going to want to miss that so stick around so you can see my most favorite thing to do on an electric scooter And uh, also, just kind of one of my most favorite things to do in general these days. Oh, it is getting hot and you can probably see the dark clouds over there in the distance. It's also very humid. It's a very Florida-like day in Las Vegas. There's a lot of people on the sidewalk over here. Maybe we should go the back way. I was just in the Farts District the other night for uh, 
first Friday, which was actually occurring on the second Friday this month, because the first Friday, Las Vegas was kind of underwater. Let's see. Where are we going? I'm trying to figure out where I need to come out. I haven't been to this place in a while. So yeah, you guys ever been to First Friday in downtown Las Vegas? It's uh, It started as like an art festival where local artists could go and sell their works. And then it just kind of turned into a swap meet. And uh, a bunch of food, food trucks are there every time and stuff. It's cool. It's worth checking out if you've never been, but it's just... Uh, I don't know, just kind of another thing to do in Las Vegas these days. Ah, screw it, that light's green even though I don't have a walk signal. Let's ride down the wrong side of the road again. This is always fun. And it's super dangerous. Let's play chicken with this SUV, what do you say? Ah, we better not. I wouldn't want to make them feel bad for losing today, you know. Just something about these electric scooters, man. It's like ultimate freedom. You take them anywhere. You do whatever you want. You want to ride in the street? Okay. You want to ride on the sidewalk? Okay. You want to ride on the wrong side of the street? Okay. See? See how easy that is? It's awesome. I mean, who wouldn't love that? One downside to this awesome little tiny fun quick scooter is it doesn't have a whole lot of range. It has Ooh, about less than half of the range of my other two scooters. But, you know, if I'm staying within downtown, I can pretty much do whatever I need to do, go wherever I need to go, and I've got enough juice for it usually. I need to be on Main Street, don't I? I reckon so. Man, it is getting hot, and it's sticky, and very undesert-like. But we're, I think we're past the triple digits now, finally. But right now it's like 97 with 85% humidity. That <laughs> feels pretty bad. Oh, low clearance. Okay, it's this way, right? Well, it better be because this is where we're going. Wrong way down a one way street. Where the hell is it? See, this is a one-way street. If we were on a car, or in a car, or even on the Honda Ruckus, we wouldn't be able to go the way we're going right now. Wait. There are big, big advantages to riding stuff like this, especially in a place like Las Vegas. Uh, I guess we can cross the street because uh, we're gonna eventually need to be on that side anyway. Walk sign is on to cross. What the hell road are we This can't be Charleston. Yeah. Well, I'm all discombobulated today.
So all I do is wait lately, it seems like. I think we're almost there though. I know it's a couple blocks from the stratosphere and we're like four or five blocks from the stratosphere. This block sign is on across Colorado Avenue. That's helpful. about two miles into this journey I guess since I left my uh, home earlier they got the green nobody else is coming we can go uh, I can see it oh they don't have that skyline anymore or it's not on the lot anyway See, that's a shame. Didn't think that was gonna last long. If you saw that video, yeah, buddy, Jack in the Box, where you can get tacos and a milkshake for like five dollars. Alright, I'm going to turn all this off so they don't have like a camera in their face when I'm ordering and stuff and then I'll show you what I got. Alright, milk shake, water, gotta get the water. Tacos, hot sauce, okay, can you see all that guys? Alright, I'm going to get to work on this and then we'll get back to uh whatever all right guys so first leg of the mission has been accomplished um i'm gonna have to wait probably three to five hours now for this milkshake to thaw out enough to where i can drink it through a straw so i guess i'm gonna be walking down main street for a while but uh anyway yeah let's fast forward to tonight and a different scooter Let's go do something really fun. All right, guys, <clears throat> it's later. In case you couldn't tell, I'm out on the uh, High Boy Max Pro, and uh, the sidewalk is closed that way, so we're gonna have to cut through the Sahara to get to where we're going. Still a solid green coming from that direction. And a red arrow so nobody can turn in. So we're cutting through the Sahara to go to my favorite e-scooter in place. And it's gonna be fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. as though we're going to the sphere and while we are headed in that direction we're actually going somewhere else close by I don't know if we're going to check out the sphere tonight a pretty nice night it was pretty uh humid and awful earlier it still kind of is humid it's definitely humid but temperature's not too bad feels all right once you get up to speed it's big whoa it's like some soft sand and some, yeah. it's not a uh, good scootering conditions right there 
Okay. So yeah, it's uh, pretty good out right now. I'm rather enjoying it. And I'm rather enjoying this scooter as well. I've had it for a couple of months now, roughly, the, uh, the High Boy Max Pro. And uh, it's, it's a lot smoother than the S2 Max. It's a little tiny bit faster. And it's got a bigger battery. It's got suspension and bigger tires, so it's really smooth. We don't get to use the sidewalk. We had to use the uh, scooter lane. Why don't I go this way? We can still go this way, it's all right. I wanted to take the boulevard all the way, but it's nighttime and it's nice out. And that means people are walking all over the place. It is their sidewalk, you know? So uh, we'll see if we can go this way around. That's a big crane, man. Wow. Okay, we can get over now. Oh, they're setting up for that, uh, what's it called show? I think at the, uh, convention center. That's not good. We need to go to the convention center. It's better when there aren't any conventions going on. The Las Vegas Convention Center, if you're not familiar with it, is vast. I mean, it's a couple of, in, it's a series of enormous buildings. And on the outside, there are a lot of fun, uh, long, smooth walkways for scooter riding. That's just between us, though, guys. Like, we're not really supposed to be here, there, doing that. I mean, look at this place. Look at how, see? That's just one building that we're going next to over there. Did you see that? It's enormous. So, yeah, but my favorite thing to do so far on electric scooters is come down to the Las Vegas Convention Center and just shred all that fresh, smooth pavement. pavement. Even at 22 miles an hour, it's just a whole lot of fun. Check it out, riding the wrong way down Las Vegas Boulevard. Crazy like that. Alright, we need to go this way without running over pedestrians. Okay, so we're almost there guys, it's getting exciting. I mean, there's no possible way that you guys are going to get the full effect in a GoPro camera. But let me tell you, if you ever get the chance to come and shred the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center grounds on an electric scooter, uh, you're going to really enjoy it. down this way but this building is just enormous that gates open and I'm probably not supposed to go in there I'm definitely not supposed to go in there but I can go here which is smooth 
fresh sidewalk. It's so quiet and peaceful. It feels like you're going way faster than you are. And that's fun. When you're right up next to the side of the building like this. I don't know, man. It's just little things for me. Just silly little things make me happy. What else do we have over here? Oh, curb. You don't want to go down that road. All right, hey, look at that. See, ooh. Yeah, the U2 concerts are about to start. Can you see the sphere? That's a pretty good uh, view of it from here. Um, yeah, and they're gonna be broadcasting the U2 concerts on the outside of the screen. So we're gonna have to go and check that out. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see that. I want to see that. I'm definitely not paying to go to the concert. But I will ride this thing there and get some good video of the outside. We need to go back this way. Do not enter the wrong way unless you're on the sidewalk on a scooter. Oh, man. We're only going 22 miles an hour, but it feels like 100 when you're in... Uh, like kind of tight quarters and it's just kind of I don't know I mean it's just as far as you want to go it's just fresh smooth sidewalk now we're going this way uh oh see some uh, BMWs parked probably getting some good Instagram shots or something oh making a video or something some more scooter brethren look at this place hold on a second here look at all this in here you know the, I know that this camera is not doing it justice these buildings are so huge. I mean, look up and point the camera up. Can you see that? It's just, you know, when you're standing under it, it's like, wow, somebody uh, really put a lot of work in on this place. Ah, but the scooter and the e-scooter and alongside the convention center is just second to none. I like it a lot. So yeah, now you know the secret. The secret is out. Let's go across the street with these people for some more scooter and opportunities. It's the monorail. See some e scooter brethren over there, they're gonna go shirt it. Probably not. Too many people just use these things for transportation. I just have to go and have fun on them every once in a while, you know? Like that other guy on the e scooter, he's just going to wherever he's going. He's not out here enjoying this the way we are. The SEMA show is gonna be happening here pretty soon. I haven't been to that since like 2017. I'm not in the business, so I don't really get to go. I used somebody else's pass last time. But it was all over here and inside this building, and there's just cars and stuff everywhere. We can come and check out the outside when that happens, and we're for sure going to. You guys will probably enjoy that. Ah, the convention center. 
This is nothing like it. And like I basically have the whole place to myself right now. You see this? that little Cushman card on the sidewalk I wanted to go rip on the sidewalk whatever it's just fun being here like I mean there's been like a handful of cars coming and going you still got to watch where you're going when you're out on the street part we're crossing uh, what is that road desert end right now we get to roll right over it and the cars are passing by underneath oh man what a great night to be out doing this i think it's more fun on the other side though go back there but you gotta you know like you can't get too greedy over here you gotta rip and dip you know have your fun and then take off so nobody gets pissed and tells you you can't come back oh I tell you there's just there's nothing like it at the crosswalk there saw me tearing ass on the other side he looks pretty official i hope he's not going to tell on me or anything so we're going to finish the rip and then we're going to take off oh it's so smooth and peaceful and awesome place is like it's like bigger than the airport but it's just convention space and so often there's just nothing going on here which is good for me because I can just come oh the sphere I can just come here and do whatever I want and it's uh, quite enjoyable for me so uh, yeah Give you one last good look at everything here. This huge whatever structure above me. This gigantic building with all the beautiful smooth sidewalks. The MSG sphere over there, the high roller, the wind and the encore. Wow, what a beautiful night to be out in Las Vegas. All right, let's finish this. Take the middle road. And I'll go this way one more time. Why not? Look at all this over here. The fountain blue. Can you see it? They got lights on inside. It's almost done. That's supposed to open later this year. I still think that's kind of optimistic, but uh, let's see if they can pull it off. But you got Circus Circus over there. Um, Resorts World across the street. Man, what an awesome night to be out. It was supposed to rain, and there's rain all around the valley right now, but it didn't make its way into the valley. 
and that's good because it kind of cooled off a little bit but uh how to be able to stay dry So yeah, I'm gonna tell you a lot more about this scooter at some point soon. Um, I still think that the uh, S2 Max is a better value overall. I still ride mine pretty much every day. Uh, it's got a lot of miles on it now and it's still a very, very good scooter. So I'm gonna post links for high boy scooters and stuff. You can save 7% on one of these right now. They were knocking 150 bucks off, but they're not doing that anymore. That 7% off makes it like 740 something bucks, which is not terrible. But I got this one for 650 and I think that's about what they ought to cost in today's market, maybe 700. So uh, for now, I'd say, you know, this is very good, very deluxe, a little faster little bit longer range I think I get you know over 30 miles out of this thing in a charge a couple more than the s2 max maybe but all in all you know I'd still tell you to get the s2 max at this point did I just I just went in a place that I can't go no I can go through here check this out you can go anywhere you want on an electric scooter. Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, we need to go there, man. Seagulls Bagel Mania. Um, I've been meaning to do that for a while. I used to be a co-owner of a bagel shop. Did you know that? Long, long time ago. Um, yeah, so we need to go there one of these days, one of these mornings. But uh, yeah, let's stop here for a minute. You can see the Max Pro at night with the lights on. All the uh, surroundings. Look at this place, man. Wow. I'm never not blown away by Las Vegas, even though I've lived here for a very long time. It's still just really incredible. But anyway, yeah, so that's uh, that's the riding for today. I need to go get some groceries and head home, I guess. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed these two scooter rides in this video. Um, let me know what you think. Comment down below. I'm doing the uh, uh, chest mount GoPro uh, for you now because you guys seem to prefer that. I think I like it better too when I'm on electric scooters anyway. So uh, yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. Links and codes down below subscribe if you haven't already hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video don't tell anybody about my uh secret uh convention center rips okay that's between us so thanks for watching guys and uh, i do look forward to seeing you again next time